Deputy follows his instincts and makes a discovery that could send a man to prison for a very long time. 28 year old Jason Allen is in the Claremont County Jail on charges of having weapons under disability and one count of using weapons while intoxicated. But it doesn't end there. Local 12 News reporter Rich Jaffe joins us from the Claremont County Jail with a story you will see only on Local 12 News. Rich? Cammie, what investigators found in Jason Allen's home early Friday morning was kind of the bad guy's trifecta money, guns, and drugs. And some of it was in plain sight when the deputy arrived for an entirely separate reason. Had Jason Allen not gotten mean and stupid and shot his girlfriend's dog, there's a good chance the deputies wouldn't have been there at all. Late Thursday night in this rural Claremont County neighborhood, residents heard something rather unusual, multiple gunshots. On routine patrol, Claremont County Deputy Rick DiPuccio heard them too. DiPuccio figured out the shots came from this home on East Hall Road, where he found a seriously intoxicated Jason Allen had just shot what's believed to be his girlfriend's dog. While talking with Allen, the deputy also saw something else in plain view inside the house. Money, a gun, and drugs. It usually starts out with something uh, relatively uh, stupid or silly or minor. Uh, in this case, you know, uh, had he not shot the dog or whatever he was shooting at, probably the dog in part, but maybe something else, just shooting rounds off, the deputy would have never heard anything and the deputy would not have responded. DiPuccio called for other officers, including investigators and the Claremont County Narcotics Unit. With even more deputies on the scene, neighbors heard a bit more noise. A guy screaming, which wasn't really screaming, was just, you know, yelling at somebody else and with high, he was really mean about it <laughs> but uh and you figured out he was yelling at the deputy yeah i think it was pretty sure it was the deputy because there was no, only ones out there was the cops and him once investigators had a warrant in hand they searched the house thoroughly and found marijuana prescription drugs about forty thousand dollars in cash uh what may be some stolen property we're still looking into that a motorcycle and a car Still waiting on confirming tests, the marijuana is said to be a large quantity. The prescription drugs, 777 narcotic pills to be precise. And that stolen property includes 26 guns, which may have come from burglaries between Clinton County and Northern Kentucky. With a prior criminal history, that's plenty of evidence to keep Jason Allen in a much quieter new residence, the Claremont County Jail. Now, on just the weapons under disability and the using weapons while intoxicated, Jason Allen earned himself a $500,000 bond right here at the Claremont County Jail. The other charges, including at least one count of animal cruelty for allegedly shooting that dog, will have to wait until the grand jury hears the case. That could happen as soon as the end of this week. In Batavia, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. What Can a we? story, Rich. And I, I just have to ask you, do we know what happened to the dog? Is he still alive? Did he kill him? Uh, I'm told the dog did not make it. And oh. uh, Jason Allen's girlfriend was not very happy about that, as you can imagine. But I also the uh, animal welfare folks have been out there, and he's facing those charges, too. My goodness. Okay, Rich Jaffe, thank you for the report. And the sheriff tells us that Jason Allen was also involved in a riot situation back in 2010, during which he was charged with aggravated menacing and weapons violations. The deputy says once he recognized Allen, he realized that he also knew him from a previous drug case as well.